Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, you remember that time that paper was being held hostage by steam? Well, APOC Uni has had the hostage experience. This link no longer exists. Yes, it's, uh, it's been, it's been, it's gone. <laughs> yes, APOC Uni had the hostage experience just like paper. Steam kept getting new URLs every time they, they updated the map, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look at the map description here. SP Conflict by APOC Uni. Difficulty, medium, 5 out of 10. Our uh, estimated time to completion, 10 to 30 minutes. No optional companion cube. Made in BMOD 2. No ninja movers, maneuvers required. And before we read that description, let's, let's read what we're supposed to get out of the map. Let's see here. I'd like feedback mainly on the puzzle itself, not the visuals. This is the first map I'm submitting because it's definitely my best so far, but it is unfortunately far from my first map. I made the map following Demon Arisen's video series about how to make good puzzles as closely as possible, so I feel like the best way to improve my work is to gather some constructive criticism, and you give some of the best I've seen on puzzle design. I thank you in advance. The final move may be a bit finicky to pull off because it requires a somewhat precise timing to execute. The setup for the final move can be quickly and easily restored, however. Also, I'm not sure why the glass in the map is so dark. I guess I just didn't place enough light strips. It seems to happen with, even when I place some strips right next to the glass, so I'm not sure. And a lot of people get confused about the pronunciation of my name. It's short for Apocalyptic Unibrow, if that helps anything. I don't really mind how the A sounds. Again, thanks for thanks in advance for playtesting. Uh, about the glass lighting and all that, I think when you when you first test it from Puzzle Maker, uh, it uses fast lighting, and then when you actually publish the map, it uses full lighting, which takes longer, which is why it's not used when you're testing the map, but uh, it looks correct. Anyway, let's read the description. Known trapping situation. Don't go into the room behind the grating above the exit. You can't get back in the portal. Very easy fix, I'm holding off on fixing it until I found out if anything else is wrong with it before updating it, and if it's possible for me to publish maps without changing the new URL. In other words, it's causing an issue. So for now, just don't do it. This is the fixed version of an extremely broken map I made a couple weeks ago. I've tried numerous times to get this map to publish to the right URL, including changing the map ID in the .p2c file to no avail. I guess this is what I get for only playtesting the final move and not the obvious exploits. I just failed it again because of something strange. Apparently leaving the old URL makes Steam suddenly find it, so I had to delete the old URL, then press the unpublish button in Portal 2 to be able to upload that the game telling me you can find the file for an update. I'm still sorry for this mess, LB. <laughs> I watched Dean Rizzo's guide to making great test chambers recently. I'm glad I did. Within a day and a half or so, I was able to create a puzzle I'm happy with. Now all we need is for Demon to make a guide on making great Cave Johnson description and the quality of every map with skyrockets. Not really, but I'd love to have his sense of humor for writing that stuff. Every single description of his gets a snort out of me. The final move on this one might be a finicky. If lots of people have trouble with it, I will change it. Please tell me in the comments if you have difficulty. Right, uh, hopefully the audio has not com been completely garbled. I'm going to stop recording and start recording again, and hopefully we don't have any audio issues. Be right back. Well, crap. The audio is completely garbled. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm assuming you're here from the timestamp in the description, but, uh, yeah, basically we read a whole bunch of stuff. And for some reason OBS does not like it when the screen is not changing very much. It just completely wrecks the audio for some reason. I've explained it many times before, but, uh, yeah. It's frustrating. Very frustrating. But hopefully, from now on, the audio should be fine. I apologize to your ears for all the crackling and sprackling and... Whatever else those sounds were. But let's get started with this map. Y'all- y'all can read the- the stuff on screen yourself if- and just mute the audio if- if you want to listen to it or whatever, but yeah, you're probably already listening to it anyway. Interesting. So there was an area that we're not supposed to go to, I don't remember what it was. Trapping situation... something something. Don't go into the room behind the grating above the exit. Behind the grating above the exit. What does that mean? Okay, I guess we'll find out. Hmm. So, where do we need to go first? Oh, what is my game doing to me? Hmm. Alright, can't do anything there. 
there anything up here? Not particularly, it's just the wall there for some reason. How do we start? How do we start? I do believe I'm a bit lost. <laughs> Oh, can we do this? Ah, there we go, that's... something, at least. Right. And then we can... Yeah, we can go back through here. And I'm assuming this will let us get up here? Yes, it will! Excellent! Now we can do stuff. Alright, uh... I guess we can just overwrite that, since we can easily get it back. Let's do that! Hmm, not exactly the best gel spread, honestly. What about up here? Does that do anything for us? Not particularly. <laughs> what? Why is it going at a weird angle? Did I place my portal funny? I must have placed my portal funny. Ah, oh, I see, yes. I placed it funny. What happens if I place it like that? Slightly different. What if I placed it like this? That's- that's worse, actually. That is wor- that is much worse. Yeah, we wanna- we wanna place it in this orientation. So that we get some down here. I don't think there's any good way to get it on the ramp, unfortunately, but hopefully we don't need it on the ramp. <laughs> How did I place that there? There we go. Save and continue. There we go. Didn't need it on the ramp. We had enough velocity. So now, we get a light bridge, and we can also access that area. What does this button do? Oh! Whatever could that be for? Hmm. Let's go find out, I suppose. Hey, fancy that! So I guess that's just permanent progress now. Yeah, that allows us to get into this area pretty easily. Don't think we can get back into there without redoing this, though. Yeah, so we can get in here for free, basically. Where do we want to go from here, though? Hmm. Well, there's the exit, so that's the area we're not supposed to go into, I believe. Yeah! <laughs> that is definitely a trapping situation. So what I think we're supposed to use that portal surface for is for the gel, obviously. Hmm. So what exactly do we need to do now? Interesting we can- there's a grating on that side as well. Hmm. I wonder why, though. How- when would- when would we ever use that? What does this do for us? Not much, honestly. We can do that, but I'm not actually sure if that's intended. I'm in here now. <laughs> no idea if that's intended or not. Whee! Alright, let's get out of here. Doesn't really make much of a difference, because I needed to do that in order to whatever. Well, actually, I guess I can do this now. And, of course, that does nothing. Oh, it's actually getting a little bit of gel there. Interesting. That's never gonna do anything, right? Yeah. That just hits the glass. What about this? So that gets bounce gel there. I don't think we need bounce gel there, though. What is that for? <coughs> like, I thought we were gonna put gel there, but clearly... Clearly that's not what we're gonna do. 
And yes, that was me who coughed just now. I always- I always look away from the mic when I cough. Just so that I don't cough directly into your ears. Oh, we can see this! I didn't realize that. Hmm. Well... What if we do that? That seems a bit more useful than speed gel. Yeah, because that would allow us to go back over the glass. Yeah... I mean, not that we couldn't do that already with the light bridge, but now we can do it without the light bridge. Alright, so... Uh... I guess we've done that now, right? Hmm, what do I actually need to do, though, now? Absolutely no point in doing that. Did that make me bounce higher than normal? I don't actually know. I don't think it did. Right. Let's do that. Whee! Oh, that's, uh... Hmm. Okay. That's not a problem, I guess, because we can still see that portal surface, so that's good. Right. So I'm guessing we want to get speed gel... somewhere. Which means we want to get bounce gel back over there again. Yeah, okay. I see, I see. So let's go back, and... do this from the beginning, I suppose. There's that. And we want to do that... And will this still work? I don't actually know. I'm not sure if that's intended to work or not. I might have just done a bad thing. Oh, well, it's okay, we can get into here, so... But then how do we get back in there? Hm, that's an issue, isn't it? Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? And that seems like I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing right now. Huh. Well... Let's try doing this again. And then... Oh, that- did you see that? There was some gel that went back there. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely saw that. Hope it showed up in the recording. Oh, we landed over that that time. Alright, so. Uh. We can see that from here. I suppose that's useful information to have, right? What do we get bounce gel here? That allows us to bounce out, right? Oh! Hold on a second. I didn't even notice that. I think the first time I tried it, it hit the glass. Well, anyway, first of all, let's do this. Right, and then... What's the best way to get out of here? I suppose that is. All the way over here. Let's go check out what happened to the light bridge, and then we'll try the diagonal light bridge thing and see what's going on with that. Come on now. Let's try this again, please. There we go. Yes. So, can we actually use this in any extent? Yes, we can! Excellent! Right, so. Next step. Let's do that. Come on, let me get through here, please. And... that. Right, so, what is up here? Hmm. Um... Hmm. Yes. <laughs> this is another trapping situation. For some reason, I kind of expected, like... I don't know what I expected. I thought there was gonna be something up here. <laughs> 
Nope. Just a trapping situation. I'm guessing these blocks are here to prevent you from being able to see the portal surface. So why not just make it a flip panel, though? That's what I want to know. Why not just make it a flip panel? Oh, I see, because... you wanted the decorative stuff on the sides. Hmm. Not sure of a good way to solve that problem, while still being decorative. Okay, so this is clearly not intended. Whatever. Right. So, current goal... is to... get the speed gel over here, right? Can we reach from here again? Hmm. Can't actually get over there very easily, though. Yeah, there's no way I can make that jump. It's too far of a jump. It's intentionally backed away. Hmm. So, first of all... First... Of all. What if this is intended partially? Because I can see this from here. I hope that's intended. So we do that. And then that. There's a little lip here. I'm not sure if this lip is intended or not. But we do that. Uh. You know what, actually, I just thought of something. If we rotate this portal surface... Did I even do anything? No, that didn't do anything. Uh... Oh, it's aim-assisted! <laughs> no, that's- okay, so we can't rotate this, unfortunately. Never mind. Hmm, but I don't know of a good way... ...to keep the light bridge while we do this. What happened? What even causes that to sometimes go... ...and sometimes not go? I don't understand. <laughs> Something about this is deeply... ...not correct. I don't even know how I had this working the first time now. <laughs> Alright, well, clearly that's unintended, so... Other... options... Hmm. Well, we can... we can still do... that, right? Hmm, but now we can't see that portal. Yeah, that's... a bit of an issue, isn't it? And that's not helpful. this time. There we go. Oops. Do that. Go through here. We want to do that. And that. There we go. So then now we can do this. Aha! This is what I was missing. I'm just being dumb sometimes. There we go. Speed gel acquired. Now, what do we want to- what do we actually want to do with it? What happened here? Oh, that's just how the- the grading is, because of the way these blocks intersect and all that. Heh <laughs> heh. all the- how did it spread this much here? That's amazing. Well, anyway... Whee! So now, theoretically... Theoretically. The theory is correct. Right, so. 
How does that help us, though? I don't actually know. <laughs> I guess it makes it easier for us to get the light bridge back. And what is that portal surface for? Hmm. I have many questions. What the? How did I do that? The same assisted. Do that, yes. It's not very helpful. What if we turn the portal around? Uh, excuse me, please. There we go. Portal turned around. Can't hardly see anything. Still not too helpful, honestly. Still not too helpful. <laughs> ah. Wee gel everywhere. Cause why not? Why not? What am I even doing? Right. All right, I can jump out of that. Didn't even think about that. Hmm. I'm still. Unclear on how we get to the exit. So, like, there's a theory I have that we could potentially coat the light bridge in gel somehow when it's coming out of here, and then have, like, bounce gel underneath it so that we can move the portal to the last second and bounce over this, but. Maybe that's what the finicky move is, I hope not. No solution video. Hmm. Well. It's the only thing I have to go on for now. I suppose we should try it out, right? How can we do that? Hmm... I lose the light bridge if I want to get that back. light bridge here, but that would get rid of all our blue gel that we worked so hard to get over there. Hmm. I'm not sure, really. This, I'm pretty sure, is not intended, because it gets us up to here, and it also gets us up to here, and I don't know what this ledge is for. It's a very suspicious ledge, you know? It's a very suspicious ledge. Like, in some... 
part of me thinks that we might even be intending to get up there, but another part of me thinks that it's just somehow decorative for some reason, but I'm not sure why. Did I tilt the light bridge? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, now it's straight. That aim assist doesn't work very well sometimes, I guess. Gel here, to my knowledge. So, can we get over this wall? Uh, excuse me, Valve, I would like to jump through here, you know. We can do that. I'm not sure how intended that is, but... it can be done. What happens if we do this? Not much. Not much at all, honestly. see here. Yep, this doesn't help us much. Hmm. I think I just shouldn't have done that just then, because I overwrote the gel that allows me to bounce back over the glass. Hmm. I honestly don't know. Honestly do not know. What have I- what have I accomplished by getting the gel here, and what if I override it with the blue gel again? I don't know these things. Oh, well, we got a spat of blue gel now. I don't know what the point of that is, honestly. How are we supposed to get up there, honestly? Like, it really does seem like I'm somehow supposed to run along a gel-coated light bridge. But how do I get the light bridge coated in gel? That's the question. Maybe this right here is just enough. Maybe it's just enough. I don't actually know. We can do that much. Let's see, can we make it across? Kind of? I'm not sure if that's intended, but it's the only thing I can think of. Come on, aim assist. Do your- do your thing, aim assist. There we go. I'm not sure what the deal is with these aim assists, honestly. Yes, yeah, so we can do that much. That much is... understood. What I'm worried about is that I'm worried this gel might disappear when I try to coat the light bridge... in orange gel. Hmm... We have everything set up as we need it, so... Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, we don't even need to use that. We can just do this. Alright, I've saved, so... Here goes nothing. And 
need to quickly do this before the gel goes away. Alright, there we go. And then... I hope this works. That doesn't look like enough gel at all. I might have placed the light bridge the wrong orientation. I think I needed to do it the other orientation. Let's go back. At least this didn't clear, which is nice. So that's- that's good news. Let's go back over to here. And let's place it in this orientation. And... No difference. It spread literally the same amount. I don't think that's enough! I really don't think that's enough! That's... that's like what I have to do, I guess I just have to get lucky with the gel spread? I... I think so? I'm not entirely sure, this seems a bit... strange. In a multitude of ways. Come on now. Come on, don't hit the glass. I'm not supposed to hit the glass. There we go. Alright, so. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. Orientation or it shouldn't matter, right? Let's try it this way again. Still not much, unfortunately. Am I supposed to, like, place there and then there in quick succession? That might get more gel in more places, I don't know. I guess we'll find out real quick. Alright, let's see here. Stop. No, that did not help in the slightest. <laughs> Maybe it's just really precise amount of velocity. Do I have to use the crouch glitch? Because that, that, that doesn't seem right. Hang on a minute. That would seem really... unethical. I mean, that works. But it said no ninja moves, right? No ninja maneuvers. So... If there's no ninja mo maneuvers required, surely the crouch glitch is out of the, the, the question, right? Maybe I just have to be faster before the gel loses velocity? I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Still doesn't spread very far. That that one last tile there was actually about the same amount that it usually spreads. I don't know, this just this doesn't feel right. Okay, well that time it worked. Without the crouch glitch, so I don't know. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, huh. I hope I did that right. I feel like I broke it in multiple ways, but uh yeah, I can always replay it if necessary. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! I'm actually not sure how to rate this, I'll wait and see if I did it intended or not, and then I'll decide what to rate it.